the talk this evening about yoga and Hinduism, because often people say, I'm atheist, I don't believe in God, but I do yoga. Actually, but can you have one without the other? Well, hopefully we'll have the answer um, for that uh, this evening, uh, because our speaker this evening, as you know very well, is uh, Dr. Nick Sutton. Um, so let's not waste any more time, let's get cracking. So ladies and gentlemen, let me uh, present to you our speaker for this evening on yoga and Hinduism, Dr. Nick Sutton. You know, thinking about the number of people uh, who do practice yoga and are they aware of um, where yoga comes from, what it, it was originally, why it was devised and what's the original purpose of the practices that they're performing week after week, what's the ideology behind it, what's the philosophy behind it. Where else will we find yoga? Upanishads make reference to yoga. Bhagavad Gita is all about yoga. And this is the early phase of yoga. What do the Upanishads say about yoga? Not much in detail. Their point is, as I was mentioning before, the ultimate goal is knowledge of Brahman. The Mandukya and other Upanishads say, Brahman, the ultimate reality, is unknowable. The word it uses is achintya. In Indian religion, you do have God. God. The idea of God is incredibly prevalent. But at the same time, India has significant forms of religion in which there is no God.